Hey, Eric the Flute Maker, and today we are going to talk about nature flutes. So what is a nature flute? It's an old piece of bamboo that has been pecked and opened up by a woodpecker and ants. And when I find these things, I begin to think, wow, if this was a flute, and the cool thing about this one is it looks like an end blown flute with finger holes. And I begin to wonder what would be the scale if I actually made this into a flute. Now, being a flute maker, I have the liberty to use this hole, this hole, this hole, and put this hole in the middle and cut the piece of bamboo where I need to, to have it in tune with the other holes to make one smaller, to make one bigger, to actually move one a little bit away from the mouthpiece because that's too close. Those are thoughts on nature flute building. So let's talk about the mouthpiece. Some are broken holes like this guy right here that creates the end blown concept like the Andean Kenna. And this guy would represent the hole pecked by the woodpecker giving us the side blown. The nature flute set is going to be side blown. But here's a great idea. This, this becomes the mouthpiece. Here we have uh, one hole and the other guy was offset. So I just took some black magic marker there to help me see where the other hole was. And then we get down here, we had two holes and the flute maker gets to extend the bamboo and cut it to where it's in harmony with the other notes and to build them as big as I need them to have volume and good tuning. So what does the nature flute set sound like? Let's go with this big guy first. This guy came out pentatonic. This guy came out in the minor scale. I call it Sherwood Forest flute. This guy I'm calling for right now the old world dancing flute. So when I built this one, three of the holes were just in the right place. I took a, a southern hole and moved it a little bit closer. And a back hole that was on the nature flute, I put it where I really wanted it. And it turned out to be my old poet's flute that we haven't been selling to the public since about 2013. So I'm bringing it back because it lined up very inspired by a nature flute. This is what I call the spring flute. And the last one was inspired by the nature flute called the Genesis flute. But on the second octave, we hit uh, certain notes that we were able to uh, put up here and it has a back hole. It has a, a cool Chinese feel to it. So the nature flute set. Um, 
Uh, Eric the flute maker is donating this to Flute Maker Ministries to be able to build outhouses in Nicaragua to families in extreme poverty. So thank you for your support. Uh, keep in mind that this is a fundraiser. So if you get one, uh, we will, uh, you won't be able to turn it back for a refund because uh, you'll have to knock on an outhouse to get that money and they won't have it. So thank you. We're also, by the way, going to throw in how to improvise and how to blow a side-blown flute on a little brochure. So, um, and, and a nice cool little bag. Could that be one of, wow, that could be one of the woodpeckers. Wouldn't that be crazy? Let's go see if we can find him. Oh, that is awesome.